excuse me can I get one hot chocolate please mm, okay anything else mm, what about this promo is this still available yeah do you want it uh, can you please explain a bit for me there are too many things to read here <laughs> Can you just read it? Everything is written there. Yeah, I know, but... Excuse me, is this how you treat your customer? I know it's already there, but you could have just explained to me or briefly or something. <sighs> okay, it's not that hard to understand. Hello, I'm your customer and you only work here. Don't act like you own this place, huh? Relax, it's just a small matter. Why are you so upset? What do you mean? You were ignoring me at first and now you are being rude. Excuse me, Jack, I will take over here. Sorry, miss, if there is anything that I can help you with. Um, yeah, I wanted to know about this promo and this guy just now won't explain it to me. Alright, miss, so this promo is only available during the lunch hour where if you buy one coffee, you will get another coffee at just one ringgit. But this is only available for a certain coffee. Alright, miss, here's your coffee. Have a nice day, okay? Oh, thanks for the coffee. Oh, by the way, please do something about this guy, okay? Thank you. A few moments later. Hey, Jack, what were you thinking just now? What? I was just a bit busy just now. That is all. No, you cannot treat the customers like that. That is very rude and against our company policy. First, you are playing with your phone and not making eye contact with the customers. Then you don't even bother to explain what she asked you just now. Does it sound like you did nothing wrong just now? Hmm, now you said it. I admit that I was wrong just now. I should have been more attentive to the customer. I was also being rude just now. I'm sorry for what I did. I will do better next time, Ishira. Thank you for bringing up this matter to me. Presents the project. Ugh. Oh, Angie, I'm bored too. I do not understand what they are talking about. She talks just like my client yesterday. Ugh. Boring. She gets to present this project because she has a scandal with the son of the CEO. <gasps> How did you know about that? This is new to me. I saw them coming to work together yesterday and had lunch together too. Oh, I see. I think she had another bad intention in her mind. What do you think? What do you mean by she had another bad intention? Hmm. I think she wants to ask for high position through the son of the CEO. Hmm. The son of the CEO better does not get involved with her anymore. She does not deserve him. Oh, I thought the same too. Hey, by the way, what do you want for lunch later? Let's go to McDonald's and eat like there'll be no tomorrow. What are you guys doing? Are you guys focusing even a little bit? You are supposed to take note on everything that have been discussed and contribute your ideas for this project. Why do you keep looking at your phone? Don't you know using a phone while in a meeting is very unethical? 
where is your etiquette? Remember, I have CCTV all around the office. I have proofs, so don't deny it. Sorry, Tuan Hapizul. I admit that we were wrong. I promise that I will never use the phone while in the meeting. I will follow our company policy strictly after this and try to improve my etiquette and manners as well. Yes, yes, Tuan Hafizul. I admit that I was also wrong in this matter. We shouldn't have done that. That was very unethical. If I find any of you violating the policy again, there will be consequences. Do you understand that? Yes, Tuan Hafizul. I understand that. Yes, I understand. I promise I will not repeat it again. Shh! Shh! Yes! Hey, yes! Don't you think we don't deserve this treatment by him? <sighs> totally yes for me. However, the thing that he said is somehow true. <sighs> Are you kidding me? He only knows how to scold people. He's not even here usually. Can he look at himself when he's scolding us and embarrass us in front of others in the meeting just now? <sighs> I'm afraid that I need to disagree with you. I think he just wants the best for his employees and his company. So, he does not want his employees to slack off during serious discussions. I strongly believe that we should work more harder from now on to become a better worker. And I think we need to be more serious in doing our job. And there is no time to play around anymore. I hope we can change our manners together. Okay? Shall we? Um... <laughs> uh, yes, I agree with you. Let's do our best, okay? Um, Alright Shaz, I have short meeting with client, so got to go now. <laughs> I buy it from the nearest coffee shop. Why? Oh, is anybody outside? Because I think I need somebody to get it for me. <laughs> hmm, Farah is not here. She went for a meeting with her client at 2 pm. Supposedly, she should be here by now. Why don't you try to call her before she arrives? Okay, honey. Hi, Farah. Where are you? Um. Hi, I have just arrived at the office. Why is Hira? Oh, I just want to order some coffee. Can you get it for me? But, I just parked the car. <laughs> but, you're not in the office yet, right? Plus, you have your car. So, it's not a big problem for you to go out again and buy a coffee for me. But, Hira... Later, I'll pay you back. Okay, Farah? Bye. Hmm. Okay, Shira. <sighs> I hate her. Why she likes to bully me all the time? Like there's no other person in the office. Hmm, Shira, is Para okay? I heard that you are forcing her to buy it for you. Yeah, at first she refused, but I insist. She said she has already parked her car. Hmm, Shira, why didn't you at least say please or sorry? I just heard you talk to her in a very sarcastic tone. And one more thing, if you want to ask someone to buy you something, please prepare the money first. Not everyone has cash in their hand. It's okay, honey. I think she's 
okay with that. Plus, Para always have cash with her. It's not a big issue at all. No worries, okay? No, Hira. We don't know what she feels. What if Para has punished issues? Huh, I heard that her mother is sick and she need to support her mother's treatment course. Hmm, is it true, honey? I feel bad for her. I will do that when she arrives. Thank you for advising me on this matter. Later when she comes, I want you to say something nice to her, okay? You as a colleague should show some respect to her. Okay honey, that's so so true. said it, I might be a bit upset with what's going on between us. You push me a lot, Hira. I need to admit that I hate you because your behavior towards me. We've been colleagues, Hira, for as long as I can remember. But I hope that you can learn from your mistakes and appreciate me more. Yeah, that's true, Farah. Listen, I'm so sorry for forcing you just now. I should be more considerate in your situation. The way I talked to you just now probably offended you. I hope you're not mad at me. Please. Ah, uh, Shira. I'm also terribly sorry. I know that I've always done many unethical things towards you. It's okay, Farah. Don't feel bad. We are friends, right? We must look up at each other. And that is what friends will do. Make each other happy. Farah, is your money back? I'm very sorry for not paying the money that I owe you. Um, thank you, Shira, for paying back my money. I really need it right now for my mother's treatment. Kind of agree with your words. We are friends, right? So... I guess we should take care of each other. 